Jared, I think after half an hour we'd have taken a point, but what a fantastic second half performance from everybody. Yeah, and it was what we needed. Um, I think one thing that we've we probably noticed over the, the season is those first 15 minutes in the second half we've conceded goals and we didn't want to do that again today and we were 1-0 down. Um, of course, we're still in the game, but I think first half we were you know, probably a couple of yards off the pace. Of course, Tottenham are a really, really good side. Let's not you know, take nothing away from them. I think they've transitioned really well with their new manager. Um, but, you know, I think second half, I think we showed what we're about as well. Um, there was times where we had to sit in and, you know, a classic old West Ham performance in a way. But then there was also times where we showed a lot of quality on the ball um, and came up with three points. And, you know, we haven't come here many times and picked up three points. So for everyone to say the away end was unbelievable. So to, to hold on in the end and get three points is... You know, especially after the weekend, I think we needed a, a reaction in three points because we know that a couple of wins um, in this tight schedule that we've got, we can be right back up into those top six places. So we have to keep doing this. Beautiful to score those goals at that end of the pitch and be able to celebrate with the fans because when you look at it, it's just absolute outpouring of ecstasy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just just poetry. It's the, the best feeling. And you know, I didn't know if the ball was going to drop to me and it was on my right foot and I was thinking, God, this could go anywhere. Um, <laughs> but thankfully it went in and obviously the, the home fans behind the goal a little bit were giving me someone I was celebrating and then obviously you go into the, the away end um, and you see the scenes but even more for Prowse's as well and the final whistle as well and you know we knew that we weren't good enough first half and we, we accept that And but to dig in the way we've done and show a proper bit of character and celebrate at the end with the fans there is everyone is just over the moon. You didn't score the second goal but you played a massive part in it chasing the ball down. I think the goalie shouldn't have handled, handled it anyway because it's a back pass but you know you, that pressing it's got us a winner. Yeah, and I think if I'm, you know, playing through the middle, I think my energy can bring that to the team. And you know, I, I like running around and I like working hard for the team. And you know, on another day that I might have got, gone around the keeper and scored two, but you know, came to Prowse and then and I'm sure he was nervous when it came on his left foot <laughs> with an open goal. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it came from obviously the the press, and I think that's what we stepped up in the second half, kind of. Took, it, took the game to them as well a bit. Um, I think we showed them too much respect first half. Like I said, they're a good side, but we're a good side as well. Mm. Um, so I think we went toe-to-toe -toe with them a bit more in the second half. Um, and like I said, got our rewards. Obviously, you and James will take all the headlines, but it was a really big team effort, wasn't it? Even though Spurs had a huge amount of the ball, Lucas has made a few saves, but you wouldn't say other than even the goal itself, you wouldn't say they had a clear-cut chance in the whole game. No, nah, yeah, like you said, me and Prowse scored the goals, but to a man, everyone, the way we defended, Thomas, the way his clearances, Naif, Kurt, Vladi, Emo, Lucas, Piquetto at the end, Fabianski, everyone, everyone to a, uh, Edson, Mo, everyone to a man tonight. Um, and that's what it takes to win, win, win here against the top side. It's, you know, you need everyone. Um, you know, even Pablo coming on at the end helped us get, get the win over the line and, those are the standards, and I think we had a chat in there. This is this is what it means, and enjoy these moments because, you know, for for a whole club, I think for the fans to come here and win is a massive massive statement. Um, and to get results in the Premier League, you need to play like that. Probably in the last that we played in the last ten minutes to kind of hang on because you know we've got a massive three points to hold on to, and you know credit to everyone we held on, and like I said, everyone's over the moon in there. Let's just finish with you then. Unfortunately, I know you were really disappointed to miss that last away game, but now that's seven away games. We scored in all of them. We've got one more, I think, away game in the league. This, Well, two more. We've got Fulham on Sunday, Arsenal just after Christmas. It'd be lovely to go into the new year having scored in nine out of nine, wouldn't it? Yeah, I hope the record's still going because I didn't actually play in the Burnley game, <laughs> so surely I, the record's still going. But no, nah, like I said, I want to I wanna score goals and I know that I can bring that to the team, um, home, away, wherever. Um, keep sc Trying to keep scoring important goals and playing my part for the team, whether that be... Scoring goals, defending, anything. Um, but yeah, massive.